Let's talk about two or three big issues which dominated the markets through the year, apart from the Fed tapering, which certainly dominated. I don't think there was any market guru who believed that this year we will not see rate cuts, for example. That was the hope that nobody was sticking their neck out on the quantum necessarily, but there was an expectation we'll go to a, a more easy kind of a policy, and that didn't happen pretty much throughout the year. As we go into the new somewhat, what is your expectation? Do you believe that next year we will see rate cuts happening? Uh, I, I agree that, in fact, the rate cuts are expected and they've been delayed. But uh, I think uh, in the new summer, we should see rate cuts and maybe that should make up for this year of uh, uh, tight money and high interest rates. You know, the, the, somehow there's a bit of a, an, uh, the issue that I never understood because our inflation numbers, the headline numbers are high, primarily because of food and fuel. Mm. And both these things, these things are beyond the monetary policy or the control of interest rate. You know, it's not that... Interest rates are low, so people are eating more food or you know, even the fuel prices are completely beyond. But still, RBI has insisted on uh, you know, making inflation a target. And if they don't have the right medicine, then they try to give whatever they have. But to my mind, in Indian context, the biggest and the most important uh, issue is growth because it's a country which is growing. It's a country of young people that need new jobs and therefore new investment. And if growth is not addressed, then it's the root cause of all the evils and all the diseases. And that, in a, you know, on a different this thing is a panacea for most of the problems that we have. So sooner or later, you know, as the growth numbers uh, start looking bleaker and bleaker, I think... Uh, you don't believe we've seen the worst? I think that we may not have seen the worst. I think there'll be still two, three quarters before we see the bottoming out. And there's negative surprise in the growth because most of the government and policy makers, you know, the noises they make are more optimism and hopeful or a wishful thinking. And even I want to be optimistic, but the reality is that if the projects have not been taking off, the investment has been dry, I mean, it's very, very difficult to see that how and why growth will pick up. So I think when we see the worst of this thing, that is the time when you know, our policymakers will have to wake up and make sure that they, you know, they, they look at the investment part of it. You know, there's a paradox that the credit growth continues to be very high, but it is more for uh, you know, rolling over and evergreening the loan along with the interest. If you see new projects, new investment, and new expansion, they've come to absolutely stand still. I don't think anybody is taking up new project. I'll give you the know, government, the ministry, and the, the, the empowered ministry's body or whatever, they cleared several projects. I think, you know, 50, 60 yeah. large projects. Yeah. None of them have gone to the banks for to raise money. Nobody's interested, actually. Yeah. So that is the scenario today. Yeah.